Hey guys! <laughs> Pardon my parents. Um, I have been working in the yard all day. And um, my mom just called and my sister is cleaning out her father-in-law's attic because my sister's getting ready to have a garage sale. So they have like pulled a bunch of stuff out from his attic and my sister said that it might be stuff that I might be interested in for my antique booth. So, <laughs> I'm going over here to see what they have. Um, if I find anything, I'll do a little haul for you all. I'm just hauling all over the place. <laughs> Alright, y'all. <laughs> Look at this. I'm loaded down again. I, I spent like $50 on all the stuff, but he had some like old, old stuff. Like he had like old, those old enamel pots. There's one that's a, um, like a, a pitcher and it's, it's yellow and white speckled. Like I've never seen one like that. What I'll do is I'll wait and I'll save this video. And when I do the haul, I'll attach the haul to it. Cause I'm definitely not going to be able to do the haul today. Um, I spent probably, I bet I've been gone for probably two hours or longer just going through because all that stuff was in boxes and I had to go through every single box and it was a lot like his whole garage so when I got done uh, I spent $50 at his house and then his daughter she said I'm having a garage sale so if you want to come to my house which she only lives like three houses down from him if you want to come to my house she said my garage is full and I spent 47 at her house <laughs> So, some of the stuff though, some of her stuff, I kind of paid up a little bit for just because some of it I'm going to keep and some of it was worth it. Um, I'm almost home. They just live right down the road from me, probably like, I don't know, like three miles. So, um, I got to get home. I met Scott on the way because at my sister's house is where we have our garden and um, he was going over to the garden to side dress the corn. So, I met him on the way and... <laughs> He said, did you buy anything? And he looked in the truck. I said, do you see the back of this truck? He said, oh my gosh. So, I met him on the way. So, I got to get home and get this unloaded in my garage that's packed to the brim already. So, he can take the truck to work tomorrow. I'm here at my house and I've got to get all this stuff unloaded and... Um, I will do the haul video and attach to this. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm back to do the haul for you. I have ventured into a little bit different territory uh, as far as some of this stuff. First of all, I don't sell on eBay. And second of all, a lot of it, I have not done any research in, on any of this stuff. If there's anything that I show that you know about, uh, please let me know. All of this stuff will be going to my antique booth. It was really fun going through a lot of the stuff that he had. Um, and I just picked out things that I thought, because I don't sell on eBay, some things that I thought might sell, you know, do pretty good in my antique booth. So I've got stuff everywhere. And this is only the stuff that I got at the man's house. This is not the stuff that I got at his daughter's house. I will have to do that in a totally different haul because this video would last forever. <laughs> see, what should I start with? Let me start with this because it's really big. I got this globe like that. I don't know how old this is, um, but anyway, it's just a globe. Globes do very well in my antique booth. I definitely, when I saw that, I was like, mm, gotta have that. Okay, um, next up, I got this orange. Um, I believe it's a coffee cup holder. I'm sure that's what it is. Uh, this. And I've seen these a lot in antique malls, like this. It has the lid that goes to it. The inside, none of this has been cleaned. So I'm just gonna fair warn you all, I have not cleaned any of this yet. I've been so busy. Um, like I said, the inside needs to be cleaned. I don't think this holds tissues. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's like that, and this little thing fits down in here. I thought it would be kind of cool to use it to put like your little like when you go to the store to like Kroger or whatever to put your little bags down there to keep them. But I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I thought it was kind of cool. Then I got this little plant holder. 
it is marked Japan on the bottom, like that. And it's just a little butler guy, just like that. And then I got this little tin box, and it's just got, um, it looks like old sewing stuff in it. And this is what it says on the front. So, I don't know. Don't know. Like I said, done no research on any of this stuff. I just picked stuff out that I thought was cool. <laughs> okay, I got these prints here. Um, the prints are too small for the frame that they're in. But the copyright is 1950 auto prints. There's one there. And then that is the Hudson. And then this is the Rambler Runabout. Like that. Little enamel kind of pot thing. It's got a little place on the side there, but the inside's real nice. The bottom has one little spot right there. I definitely know what this is. <laughs> um, it's just an old match holder. Like that. It's pretty rough. <laughs> And this right here, um, it has marked on the side, Arctic. And they said what this was, was this is what you use to, um, I guess, open the lid on an old stove. Um, I guess to like put more wood or whatever, but this so you don't get burned. You lifted the top up with this. This right here, and I don't know if you all can tell it or not, but it's kind of the bottom part is like blue and then it goes up to green and then blue again. So I thought that was kind of neat. Y'all please let me know if you know what any of this is, if you know what it's worth. Um, I am gonna do some research, but if you all know right offhand, please feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. I do not know what this is. It's like that. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I thought it was kind of cool. And then I got two of these. They're exactly alike. Just like that. You got this little thing on the back. I guess that reflects the light maybe. Um, but you, I guess you hang them on the wall. I got this one. And this is kind of messed up around where the globe fits in. But it just looks like that. It's really dirty and sticky. And the globe. And see right over here where it's kind of messed up. It's broke off there. And I got this one. This one does not have a globe. But I thought that one was really pretty with the blue hobnail. And this right here has got Japan on the bottom. And it is a fish. I guess you put a little plant in there or something. I don't know. But I thought he was cool. And then I got this old mug here. And it's dented on both sides. But that was, I didn't, didn't mind that. On the bottom it says Made in England. Um, English pewter and then it's got the word Leonard eels of Sheffield since 1779 and I got this little cup here I thought was kind of cool I think that I was watching um, Scott's old curiosity shop and I think he picked up some of these that were smaller um, that looked kind of similar to this I got this it is just an old glass and it has a little boy on the front, and he's looking for his dog, and his dog's behind him. And on the back, it says, where has my little dog gone? And it has the words. And I got these. These are marked 5279, and that's it. I don't know if that's a production number or what that is, and they have the little cork lids that goes in them. So I don't know if these were vinegar bottles or what those were, but there's two of them. Got two of them exact, exactly the same. This, that does not have a globe. Like that. This is just a candle holder. Just one. But I liked the color of it. This old Tally Ho Men's Talc bottle. And there is something in there because it's, you know, it's not light, it's heavy. <laughs> I thought it was kind of neat. <laughs> and this old frog, that's a planter. Thought he was kind of cool. And it says on the bottom, that FM Woolworth Company. He's probably not real old, but I thought he was neat. This old tin 
lavender bath powder like that it's got um, it's got just a bunch of nothing in there <laughs> this old tin I thought was pretty this is another thing that's made in England like that this old top spinning top That was really neat. That would be cute if uh, you were gonna do a little boy's room in like, uh, you know, vintage kind of. That would be neat to display on a shelf. This, like that, got a handle on it. I got a ball jar with the old kind of, uh, you know, zinc lid. That's a, that's a big one too. This, I'm guessing it's a garlic press. I don't believe it's in commission anymore, though. It's pretty rusted. I mean, it works, but it looks like a garlic press. If they used these for something else back years ago, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> this old lantern here, and I thought this was just cool because it has this thing, metal thing that it sets down in, and then it's got a little thing on the back so you hang it on the wall so that was pretty cool one of these other enamel pots like that and this enamel pot that is I guess a casserole dish I don't think I've ever seen one that's a casserole dish but I thought that was cool these books these books are really old this one is McGuffey's eclectic spelling book they're not in very good shape at all, but they're, they're very, very old. Um, the copyright on this, 1879, and then another copyright of 1896. Y'all can see that. The Boy at School, The Story of Samuel, Children of the Bible series. Like that. Copyright on this is 1905. And this is The Adopted Son, The Story of Moses. This is another one of those series. And then another one. This is The Favorite Son, Story of Joseph. Another one, and I'm sure the copyright's the same on that one. Another ball jar. And the seal on that is really cracked. And this is the um, Bicentennial Celebration, and it still has the paper in the bottom. And the last thing I wanted to show you was the thing I told you about earlier in the video when I was coming back. Um, it's this. It's one of the enamel pots. Um, I'm, there may be tons of them out there, and I've just never seen one, but I've never seen one with this kind of speckled like or whatever that is. Um, and it has the spout and the insides really dirty. <laughs> it's bad. But, you know, all the stuff, they pulled all of this stuff um, out of his attic and it had been up there for years and years and years. Now, I will tell you all, I do have some more things that I got because my sister had a yard sale. The stuff that I didn't take, they put in the yard sale. And after the yard sale was over, um, everything that was left, he had some stuff left. And she said, anything that's left, you can just have it. So I did pick out a few more things and brought them home, but that will have to be a separate haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you know anything about any of this stuff, please leave me a comment below and let me know. Um, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, uh, I do videos about reselling. I do haul videos. I do garage sales. Um, I talk about my antique booth, a little bit about Poshmark. Um, so if you're interested in any of that stuff, um, just consider subscribing and make sure and hit the notification bell so that way you'll be notified each time I make a new video. And I guess that's it, and I will see you guys next time.